Well, we've reached our first hurdle. Jordan's stuck. I'm trying to winch him out. What do you think, Jordan? <laughs> I think you're right. Oh! Man, I wish I had showed you guys that. I don't know if it snapped or what. Oh yeah, she snapped. I think it, yeah, it broke the hook off. This hook right here? Yeah, that one. Making little progresses. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, we got her. Say hi, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Say hello to the people. <laughs> say hello to the people on the YouTubes. Hi, YouTubes. That's say hi, Hadley. Hi, Hadley. I said it's, <laughs> I knew you were gonna do it's not gonna be as fun when we have to yeah, deal when we have to deal with the young brother. It's not going to be as entertaining for me and you. <laughs> yeah, no, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> so I'm trying to concentrate on navigating. The ginger assassin is trying to navigate. Assassin. So we're all screwed. <laughs> yeah, we're done for. Assassin's He's kind of an idiot. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Day just one. Keep, we just keep him around because he pays for Onyx. <laughs> Get some elk. We split up into three trucks. Jordan and those guys are going down a different, I think they went down the valley, just above our camp. But we, we got, lost our sister right now. He wanted to see how far we yeah. get up that main road. And we got the kiddos with us this year, getting them out hunting. And the other one ran off somewhere with Aunt Courtney, so. <laughs> What's up? Boo. Nothing so far, but I mean, we're only about 11 o'clock, so. Keep looking, we'll just keep hopping ridge line to ridge line and keep going out to these glass points and see what we can find. Day one was uh, zero activity, zero elk. Don't lie to the people. He took us into Deer Canyon and Cowhawk Canyon. That was it. He's not very good at finding elk. Yeah, well, you guys are with me, so you're not very good either. What? No, I'm waiting for you. But start of day two, it has started snowing. It's just little sprinkles, but it's been snowing all night, so there's about another inch and a half of snow up here. But we're going to keep after it. Try to find elk, not deer. Thank you.
All right, guys, we got two elk. We got a cow and a calf. We're gonna send Michael and Brad after them to try to get that first elk. We got them at 824 yards up the hill right now. Right now they're scoping them out. We're making a game plan and we're gonna try to get them up to the top of the ridge to get a shot. They're all the way up at the top of these cliffs. So I'll get footage of them as soon as I get the spot and scope on them. Let's go. Oh God! No, he missed her way high. No, they went. Her, her, they went through. They went three, two, one, dude. Oh, because I was like, dude, you were way over, way over that bitch. Holy shit! Way fucking high. They at the top of the hill. Yeah, way fucking high. They're overshooting. All right, so me and Michael just Stop. missed. <laughs> uh, what yardage were we at? 450? Or, no, it's 475 for me. Okay, so, well, that's why I missed. You told me the wrong yardage. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I told you. Um, oh, Cor maybe. Courtney was recording our shots, but they both jogged over the hill, so we're pretty confident we missed. We're going to go down and watch the video that Scott has on the spotting scope. To get it a little closer. See where we missed. Hopefully make that adjustment, but, yeah. Well, I thought we got, because they went down, and so I guess we just frightened them. Because the second they stood back up, they boogied the opposite direction. There was a cow and a calf up here, and I'm pretty sure we missed them both. And when you see the video, we synced up our shot pretty good. <laughs> right, so it was like one shot. You absolutely synced up really good. I thought yeah. you had them both. I was excited. We were excited well, for a minute, but we, we went from a thousand to four fifty. Let's just call it. We got whatever range, range I call that. But they right kept there. at that point. Once we got under five fifty, right there, she was she had us, so we could only she get in kept so much staring further. at us. Yeah. yeah. Get, get in closer. Get in so much closer. But we saw some elk day two. A couple more days to go. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we couldn't tell where we missed the tree. The I got excited. And I thought she I goes, You down. got him! <laughs> and I go, Chill, because I watched her just whoop like duck behind the tree. I think it was just a reaction to be like, <laughs> I don't know what I said in the video, but I'm pretty sure I said, No, we didn't, because I re found her right away and she's standing up straight. So, yeah. Like she's... And then I did. I was like, There they won't go. Get him! Get him! Yeah, we suck. Right. I'll have to show you guys the video. Yeah, we also, we, that's what we were like. All right, let's just so go down. And they had us pegged there. dead to right, so we stopped at, at like almost 600. at 500. We snuck another 50. Oh, no, they well, they they had us they, pegged at 500. They started looking at six. 
Yeah. Because as soon as we get out to the top of that ridge, they were peeking at we us. Peeking. So we didn't feel like getting any closer. Remember it's when not I an was, outrageous when distance. When I standing behind you, maybe it was 500 when we finally were like, all right, they're then watching us. Because I just had them in the glass. I heard her sneaking up behind. I went, stop, get down. She did. We sat there for like five, five minutes, minutes, waiting for them to start feeding again before we got any closer. That was at 500. And then we had to find some windows to shoot in, right? And then, mm -hmm. then we had to relocate, range them up 450. He goes, okay, my drop is just shy of four feet. I go, all right. I get, we both get a good steady rest. I was confident. <laughs> that, that was my drop. <laughs> it, was, it was. Obviously, it wasn't the drop. Was the we needed right. to be three feet. Left or right was spot on. You just yeah, went we right over to be back. three feet instead of four feet over the top. All right, print me out a piece of paper and put on my stuff. And, well, I was going to say, so 30, 31 knows. inches, that's only two and a half feet. Well, and then they went over the mountain. Plus, right? her, if you want to drop into her, you only need to aim a foot over her back. Right. Maybe, so maybe, maybe we'll find them tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. On that other side. <laughs> I wish you would have caught mine, too. The problem is they, I had them both the whole time, and then they separated, like, the last four minutes That's before you guys shot. windows, because I had, and I stayed on this side because I had the bipod, and then Michael found a rest yeah. on the left. Uh, and, it was, And they separated, and I just had to pick one, yeah. so... So you, so you just gotta see me, man. But, but the last <laughs> shot when it. they went up together, yeah, I got that shot, and again you were like over their back. Uh, Those were rush shots. To well, try and to then that one I added, I added a little bit more because they went up further. <laughs> yeah, and you missed by even more. <laughs> yeah. The best part about the bipod wasn't the stability for the original shot, but being able to relocate on the second and third, like on being able swivel. to find them again. Right. So then I could just pivot. They were there instead of like. You know. Yeah. Visibility, low. Chances of finding elk, low. Morale, high. You know why? Porta pot. <laughs> Cold, but out of the snow. That's right. Very high morale. Keep your butt cheeks dry, you know? That's what it's all about. It's all important. If your butt cheeks ain't dry, you ain't happy, you know? Yeah. So, we'll take that as a win. We're winning today, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. Don't make fun of the sunglasses. I got them for free. They keep the sun out of my eyes, so I'm wearing them. Now, today is Wednesday. Rat, Courtney, Michael left on Tuesday. Um, Hadley also left with them. She got sick. She did not want to stay while she was feeling sick. So Brinley stayed with me. Some fresh tracks through the bottom, bottom of the valley that we've been camping in. Honestly, that's where we've been seeing the most fresh tracks. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. We're going to keep this hunt close to home. We'll probably just keep going up and down this valley and see if something pops out it has snowed quite a bit this year it's very hard to get on top there are places people have plenty of people have gotten stuck and we're trying not to do that today <clears throat> i do have a spare of like universal chains on my truck we're not going to be climbing anywhere crazy we're just going to be not getting stuck those chains right there so we're gonna keep rocking this valley. Let's go see what we can find. Buddy, what happened? We got our first elk. Well, Daddy's second elk. But you were here for your Wait, first second? one, right? Second? Yeah, Daddy got one last year, too. Oh. We got another one. All right, guys. I was just driving down from the top. People have been telling us that there has been a ton of elk activity through this area, and it's been hard to get to because the snow is deep. But me and Brinley just spotted one right down here. They went up the hill, and I shot her right there. She's laying dead. So, we got another one done, guys. Me and Ethan split up. I actually ended up taking the four-wheeler up the road this time. But as we were coming down, we spotted them crossing. So, we got another one, guys. Let's go, let's go look at her. All right, guys. We got it done again. Wednesday night, we came up the canyon. Everybody was having a hard time getting up here. Everybody was saying you're getting stuck, and... Uh, I had chains on the truck, we're trying to get up, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pull the four-wheeler out, see how far up we can go. We almost made it to the top, we decided to turn around, 
sun was starting to the shade was starting to come down these hills and I was like you know it's a perfect time to come driving through these canyons and sure enough there was a cow and a calf standing 250 yards away and um, I, uh, I took a shot at 250 I don't know where I missed maybe my nerves got the best of me but I missed the cow she went up the hill and uh, couldn't see her again she buggered off but the calf stayed behind and ranged her, ranged her at 275 and, and got a good shot on her so super blessed to have some meat um, got the kids with me she's running camera Brindley's doing a great job um, that's what it's all about guys get out here with the family and and carry on the traditions you know and just show our kids where where meat comes from and and it's just about being with your family and and the experiences that you share together and I'm I'm just super grateful just super grateful and uh I don't know what else to say. Um, we're going to get this one taken care of, and hopefully we'll try to get another one in our group down. Thanks for watching, guys. I think you shot him in the mouth. No, that's just blood coming out of the mouth. Oh. Where'd you shoot him, Dad? Right there in the shoulder. What? What shoulder? This one right here. Right there. Right there? Yep. All right, guys, just a little video update. Besides mine last night, uh, which you guys saw in the video, uh, Jordan rolled back into camp with one, too. He shot a cow at 585 yards. That's update. It's on Thursday, and we have two cows down. So, see if we can get a couple more.